shake, shake, booby. Looks to kill you, will be a Uzi over shotgun. Bang! Well, oh! Oh, hello. <laughs> Today, we're going to break down a wall. <laughs> Specifically, the fourth wall. Let's get started. So, what is the fourth wall? It refers to an imaginary wall that separates the story from the real world. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now! And you rarely want the characters or the audience to become aware of it. But if you do, it's called breaking the fourth wall. Well, you all settled in? Right, we can begin. We're going to give you three tips on how you can figure out if breaking the fourth wall is right for your project. Because once you break it, you buy it. So let's get into some helpful tips. We'll call these the three B's. Let's count them down. Be extreme, be thoughtful, and be controversial. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. First up, step one, be extreme. With regard to how often you break the fourth wall, you want to be on far ends of the scale. Do it all the time, or once in a blue moon. It needs to very much appear as intentional, like this. It's so refreshing to work with someone who will throw a saddle on a gift horse rather than look it in the mouth. In House of Cards, Frank Underwood is constantly breaking the fourth wall. Let's see if he stays with the herd or joins the pack. David, you mind if I join you? He's candid, funny, and psychotic. There can be no mercy. There is but one rule. Hunt or be hunted. The effect is powerful. Notice that other characters don't react when he breaks the wall. Truth be told, I never really knew him or what his dreams were. He was quiet, timid, almost invisible. It's a secret. It's just us and Frank. We feel a sense of deeper connection to Frank, despite his questionable behavior. What do you think you're doing? Only me and Garth get to talk to the camera. Come on. Next up, step two. Be thoughtful. Look at your script. You want to break the fourth wall at moments of great impact. I lost my show. I lost my best friend. I lost my girl. I'm being shit on. That's all shit on. Find a way that enhances your scene. They bought it. For example, you might take us through a course on faking out parents. The key to faking out the parents is the clammy hands. It's a good non-specific symptom. I'm a big believer in it. Or during a moment of high stress. 4,000 restaurants in the downtown area. I picked the one my father goes to. We're pinched for sure. No way, Cameron. When you break the fourth wall, it can take you deeper into a character's psyche. Ever notice how many times it is used with psychopaths? This confession has meant nothing. It can evoke deeper emotions within the viewer. You want to break the fourth wall thoughtfully, so ask yourself this. Should you break it before a scene to share some important intel? Or break it in the middle as a sort of progress report? Or at the very end of a scene to punctuate the moment? Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Even if fourth wall breaks are a constant motif in your project, it should be during key moments that really pack a punch. So we've covered how it's important to be extreme with your frequency and to be thoughtful by seizing opportunities at the right moments. Now there's one final step. Step three, be controversial. Enough of this shit will make you invincible. If you're going to break the fourth wall, don't be delicate. Be bold. Make a statement. We paid off cops. We paid off lawyers. We paid off judges. This is especially true if your film rarely breaks the fourth wall. This scene in Airplane is really important because it is one of the only serious scenes in the entire film. Elaine. Ted. I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. I can't live with the man I don't respect. We are taken away from the comedy for a brief moment when... What a pisser. Controversial doesn't mean you have to be crass or rude. It means that you're trying to get the viewer's attention. So when you do it, 
It either needs to be part of the film's structure, or a little frill tacked on for some fun. So now you know how to break the fourth wall effectively. Time to use it. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. We know planning your project can be a bit maddening. So when creating a shot list in software like Studio Binder, you can color code and flag key shots. That way you can differentiate normal close-ups from wall breaks. So check out the link in the description to create a free shot list. If you liked our video, make sure to share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to enable notifications by clicking the bell. Let us know what you think about breaking the fourth wall in the comments. Do you think it's enough? Check out our video on how to shoot creatively with a smaller budget, where we show you how Wes Anderson created a whole world on a tight budget, and how you can do it too. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. Catch you later on down the trail. <laughs>